Hey guys, it's Wolf, and sadly the servers are getting wiped tomorrow on Sunday, October the 25th. Sadly, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to just wipe the people who are gotten in for free or just going to wipe the people with beta keys and founders also with them. Not sure if wiping us with uh, founders is going to be... A good thing because founders have actually paid money to get in which is gonna be quite a problem uh, unless they're gonna regift everything to them hopefully they regift it to you guys who are founders I'm personally not a founder so I really hope they don't wipe you guys because you guys actually paid money to get in and if you guys paying money there could be problems if they if you guys don't get anything return in return if you guys don't get your stuff I'm pretty sure most of you guys are gonna raise hell okay I guess get rid of them but with that said I really like I said I hope you guys don't get wiped because that's gonna be a huge problem unlike me I got in by um, beta key I've been joining the game pretty pretty much it's really good uh, some people don't like it some people do I like it because I could be a brawler and not many um, not many MMOs give that especially action MMOs Terra Terra did it but yeah Terra's was a little bit more it felt weird <laughs> like spin attacks and all that but this one's actual punching and kicking I love brawler characters if you guys don't know that <laughs> and I love Lancers uh, so when they wipe the server I might be switching over to mercenary this is my brawler character I recently got him to level 30 on my stream yesterday ah uh, man that took a while it was fun but yeah, Brawler has um, a lot of weaknesses like dealing with deflects on bosses um, super armor. If you guys don't know what super armor is, it's when a boss gains this like armor when you hit it, it deflects off your um, physical attacks. But projectile characters aren't affected by that sadly. So they're doing the most damage and getting pretty much getting you past so mercenary seems to be another class that that can do the same but hey hey nobody said the game was gonna be perfect so what I'm thinking is uh, pretty much here's my review on the game I liked it I really enjoyed it it was fun it's just there's a bit limited things and the thing I did not like was not not being able to have a weapon as as a costume like an actual weapon where's the example hmm I don't have any examples like I like the look of these gaunt of these um gauntlets but hell it, when I level up and get a better one it's probably gonna look weird so I want to keep these and I want to put this one down here in a slot so I can have that as a costume at least that would be way better for me because I like my weapons designs not just having like the most OP thing people are trying to make their characters look fancy let's be honest most of you guys want your characters to look good especially when fighting and some of you guys want to keep your characters looking rather OP and intimidating some of you guys just don't care about that too but hey everybody has their own differences in their own way of thinking but yeah let's take a look up at inventory before the server gets wiped I've been through a lot of farming if you guys have seen my stream <laughs> yeah my materials is already full yeah okay I should have put that over so I don't know if if Dragonite or anything 
or anything in your shared will be moved over. So I already put everything in there, especially in shared. I'm gonna have to take some of these out and put some new things. I'm gonna see if shared items stay inside of the um, inside of shared when the server is wiped. So if that is so, I'm probably gonna put some good material in there and some of my finer dragon site dragon site and see how that goes I should put this in outfits too so I can see so hopefully all those items will stay in there so cross your fingers no really cross your fingers if you're thinking the same thing because I don't know if they're gonna wipe those as well but then again I was thinking that accounts pretty much share so even if you delete all your characters it should still be in there in the shared so I'm hoping for that. So if you guys think it might work too, you guys better try it. Because there's some rarities. A lot of rarities in here. Sadly, these aren't shared either. Because they want you to go between... Because my way of thinking is they want you to go between accounts and just put all that extra crap on certain characters. Well, that's at least what I do, at least. Um, another problem is my... Loyalty and my Dragon Bond points. Sadly, those are going away too. So now I can't buy any mounts, sadly. And those of you who don't know where Dragon, Dragon Bond points are used, they can be used here by clicking the loot button and clicking on the loot that you want. You can easily buy it if you have enough points. So save your points. Don't use it on um, crafting and all that, especially if you want a certain mount. There are a lot of cool mounts in here. A lot of cool Dragomons that aren't even available yet, sadly. But I want this guy. Owls are, the owls look so badass. But anyway, hopefully they put in um, boss Dragomons too, so we can get those. Hopefully it comes with an update as well. So I'm really hoping for that. And a lot more things. So, I was thinking, a lot of people who spent money on this game are going to be really pissed because they spent probably spent so much money to get progress of where they are. They probably, well, there's some outfits in here as well. Not very high in price, but still, it'll get higher. So you guys better start leveling real quick and start getting that bank before market starts going up. Well, auction. And, yep, this is where everything started to shine. Everybody started using money to get some of these, and not only that, they used money to get here, too. Which is probably the worst thing you could probably do, especially in a closed beta, because you never know what could happen. So I was a bit hesitant to even attempt on touching this. But, hell, everyone had their own um, way of doing it, so, hell, if they wanted to spend money, that's them. So you can buy it. Yeah, you can, you can, you can buy our, our uh, AP. Okay, okay, game. <laughs> Go away. You've, you've served your purpose. So, I wanted to talk a bit more about Dragmon. And I find it so interesting. Okay, that that is that is annoying. Why is my toolbar like that? I guess I can't fix that, can I? I don't know why, but in um, nineteen in ten eighty p, it's like overlapping its uh, layouts for a controller. But yeah, let's get into this. There was one thing I was talking about, like, so like I was saying, those who already got founder packs, oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna be real hell if they don't um, give these people their items back. <laughs> Especially if they got the founders pack, which is $20 and $50 down this line. You can just choose whichever one you wanted. I personally would have went for the outfit just because 
yeah, exclusive Dragon Mon mount. Let's be honest, there's probably better looking ones that you probably want in the game. And then there is those who went the extreme path and got everything. Yeah, this is this is where the problem shines in. If you're an ultimate hunter, founder pack, um, oh my god, if if they don't, how are they gonna do this? Are they just gonna re, just resend all of the um, founder packs to them? Because if they do that, there is there everything's gonna be fine. Nobody's gonna have any comments or insults or anything going on unless they actually spend money beyond that but let's hope they did not spend money beyond that because then there will be even more hell to raise so with the servers getting wiped I really hope they do give this give you guys the founders back your stuff or at least give you something better at least give you something that would calm you down now back to what I was saying before Brawler has his weaknesses and it has a lot of weaknesses actually and I'm gonna point out one of them and that is super armor fighting those with super armor is extremely annoying whoa what the hell oh my it's my hopalon oh god damn it I hate it when that happens. It's it's like a little bug that's been going around for days. Your Hopalon's weapon like bugs the hell out. Then he just gets some kind of weird particle. I'm gonna go re go join. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Alright, there we go. I always hated that. So super armor's always been a problem for me. Especially since I'm a brawler and I, I love brawling. With that said, I always love Dragon Sight because Dragon Sight has so much interesting effects. But anyway, with that said, Super Armor has always been a problem for melee characters since I started this game, pretty much. It, it taught me the hard way that brawler characters aren't the best characters. No, any physical melee characters <laughs> is not the best thing to take into a dungeon alone. They seriously want you to work for it. But good thing with club, you have at least two moves that will keep you safe, especially at range. And that is... Hammer... Hammer of Judgment and Hammer of Light that are ranged for you if you're using a um, Cleric. Hammer of Judgment. It just throws out your, um, your club like it's a boomerang. Then there's a Hammer of Light that sends a projectile hammer. On your um, Brawler, you have no range moves. It is straight up physical damage. And hopefully this boss has um, super armor so I can show you guys what it does. If not, I already know the perfect place to test it. So I have to kill all these guys. So super armor is a big deal, especially with melee characters and sadly range characters seem to not have um, any downfall so far so far except for low HP and dodging I guess but we're gonna see this is my favorite boss to be honest I always wanted a mount of him I always love his intro too his fighting style is great. I say they did a really good job on this on this boss. Come on, use your super armor. I hope you at least got it. I don't think he has super armor.
Nope, he doesn't have the super armor. See, that's what I mean. I love his fighting style. It's an interesting boss. He but this is not even half of what he can do. I'm going to go into the harder version of him. And I will shoot guys. Some legit fighting styles of his. Right up. Alright, we beat him. Now we can go on. Hey guys, I take that back. There are actually some enemies here who can... Hold on. Which one do one? I'll take that one. There's actually an enemy in this area that also has super armor, but he's a lot closer. Instead of fighting my way to the bear, I'm just gonna take the easy path. Because this bastard is annoying. The cats... Like dragon cats, I guess that's what they are. Gotta kill these guys, because if they follow me, I'm just most definitely gonna die. Alright. Yeah, this bastard right here. I don't know when he's gonna use the super armor, but he is. You'll see it as I deflect off of him. And you'll see the actual shield on him. But most bosses don't even get the signal or symbol. There it is. See? As you can see, my attack deflects off of it. That is the super armor. If you get any of this as plain as a melee, he has super armor on and you have to wait for it to come off. Which is very annoying. And really frustrating for melee characters. Especially for players. So that was my only complaint about the, um, about the game so far. It just makes it so much harder. Especially for melee. Especially for melee that want to um, be soloers. If you want to be a soloer, you can't be... You just can't solo. And there's the super armor again, especially when you're about to kill. I mean, you can still do damage. You still have a chance of your um, Dragosite activating. But, yeah. And by the way, if you're uh, if you are a cleric, remember the only two moves that I like, can only affect through go through super armor is your hammer of judgment and your hammer of light. I'm gonna wait for one up to get super armor. Come on, you should be able to do it again, right? I'm gonna wait for you, or if turtle might kill you. Whichever one comes first. Nope, there it is. See? I can hit through super armor without being deflected. But when I hit, yeah, it happens. So do keep in, keep that in mind. Ow. But scouts do have the advantage in the game because they can change between the you can change the close combat or or ranged if an enemy has super armor, they can just switch to their rifle and just start shooting for far away. If they... If the enemy has no super armor and they do more damage with their um, melee close combat, then they can do that. So I guess that's why everybody... Well, most people chose scout, but most people chose scout for the um, rifle. Alright, here's another thing I wanted to talk about. The boss's animations. Some of them are a bit unique. Some of them are reused. Like this one. This one is unique. His is not even the same as something else, but his model is reused multiple times, actually. Some of you guys may notice it. Some of you guys may not. And you can tell by his, his throat by one. And when you look at it to compare it to the uh, other models, you'll notice it. But some of you guys won't because you won't be actually looking at the model and comparing it to. But let's get down to this animations and why I love it. 
fuzz entertaining the fight. See, his is unique. He, I've never seen unlike that. His, that's the same animation I've seen other mons, other dragon mons use, but with a wind attack to disguise it. Unlike that one. I, I have never seen that one before yet. That one is the same thing as the uh, double hit. Okay, he's getting really aggressive. But, oh, I love the game. That's all I gotta say. And you auto-targeting me is not cool, man. That's another thing I love. Him, when he does that. Now this is an intense fight. On hard mode, I imagine it's the uh, extremely difficult boss. I do plan on, like, making videos of my first day on Dragomon and a few more of my funner moments like glitches and all that. I mean, it is in closed beta, so there's bound to be glitches. Wait, what? You still hit, hit me? I thought I just... Oh, wow. Okay. Whatever, buddy. Okay, you, you, can, you can stop that. I love that animation that you can stop. Not to mention explode that. That is awesome. Now I can see why they reuse models and and reuse some of the attacks. I guess they were on like a time limit. I guess they'll. Well, I hope that they'll update update some of their creatures as they go, making them a lot harder, make them a lot unique to their own. If they do that, it's gonna give more people a lot more of a challenge and a lot more fun. I'm just gonna sit here and take that. I'm gonna tank your hits. I don't think that's a good idea with multiple attacks coming at me. But even when somebody with people giving it so, the game so much crap. Hell, it's a fun game to certain people, and not, not to everyone. Everyone can enjoy it, and everyone can it. And some people don't like the standard point and click, I recommend using a controller. It feels like an actual action RPG. And it's actually funner that way. Oh, there's the portal. I've, I used controller from start and, well, not from start, I used mouse from start. Then I thought to myself, hey, if I can get a controller, this would probably be a lot easier and a lot more interesting. And I was right, it was actually a lot more interesting. So I recommend using a controller if you want that action RPG style. But if you just want a normal MMO RPG, then go with the point and click. Then you can just have the tabs down here and just spam your numbers <laughs> like most people do. Now, crafting is a bit straightforward, like always, like all Dragon Hunter, well, Dragon Hunter, Monster Hunter games, you have a. Like I was saying, like all Monster Hunter games have a certain farming for gear the same thing they did for here too which I actually liked because they actually put thought into it they're trying to make this into like an actual monster hunter game which that is fantastic to do because find it really interesting you can actually see their animations and what it looks like like this I don't like its design but I do love the damage on it because I can increase that uh, one star because I suck. I love the damage, but what if I love this design better? Can't I just equip this, then just put this over a slot right here or right here and have it as a costume? Because there's so much limited. I mean, you could still keep in the weapon costume, but I would rather have my weapon looking like an actual weapon and not like horns. Like little claws, toothpicks, <laughs> crabs. 
but certain people have their dislikes and likes about the game. Like, a guy who came into my channel asked me, he played the game for a while and said he got bored of it, and he asked me why I liked it. I couldn't reply because, well, I replied, but me dealing with issues halfway through the stream when my stream started acting up because of OBS, and my mic was off the whole time through the rest of the stream. Halfway through the stream, it was on perfect. Everything was going fine, but then people started coming through the rest of my stream, and my mic was off. So, that, that bummed me out. I was sad because I couldn't find that guy and reply to him. <laughs> Probably called me a dick and just laughed and said, Fuck you, man. You didn't even answer me. You're still going to just keep playing. And that was like the worst thing I could do right now. <laughs> I really hope that guy isn't angry. <laughs> but anywho, it's going to suck when the servers get wiped. We're going to lose a lot of stuff, but you're, but look on the bright side. You already know what to do. You already know what to get. You already know what to strive for. So, starting over won't look won't be so bad. Look on the bright side of things, guys. <sighs> like I'm trying to do. <laughs> but with that said, some of us just can't help to be angry. Uh, we have to start over. But hey, just gotta look on the bright side. I just hope not too much hell raises and they lose fans. If they lose fans, it's gonna make the game a lot less populated. I would love me some cat ears. See how adorable I am? Cat ears, great. <laughs> but I am wondering how they're gonna keep this game stable. Because once you grind through everything, it's just gonna be like, okay, I'm just gonna wait for the expansions and everything. Wait for new levels. I'm not even sure of the level cap. If you guys know the level cap, let me know down in the description because I would really know, love to know the level cap because I have no clue what the level cap is, actually. So, do let me know. But they have plenty of things to keep you occupied, breeding and loving up. If you guys don't know that some of these are perks as you level these up. Like mining, if you get to... I don't know if there's more. Nope. Level 8 mining, you get more HP and more speed. And you get to acquire additional loot from your mining. So I recommend getting all of your um, professions up. Professions are good. Professional gears, that's for fishing. So, yeah, I'm level 4 fishing. What? Come at me. Anywho. <sighs> There's just so much to go over. Another problem and thing I disliked was the guild price. A hundred gold just for starting out too? Because a hundred gold, hundred gold seems pretty steep, especially if you're a new player and you want to test out all the new things. You're level twenty, and they, I guess, they think you have a hundred gold as soon as you start around. But yeah, let's just come up with a random name. Random. And look, 100 gold. They want us to use 100 gold? I'm level 30 and all I have is 27. The hell. I have no clue what they're gonna do about that. I have no clue what they have in mind. I really hope they come up with a standard PvP. Let's look at PvP list. Because I kind of dislike this. You have to wait for times to PvP? What if I just want to straight up duel someone, but not in the middle of everywhere and where it could it could potentially lag out and the hiding your characters doesn't help? Because I would love to do it inside of an arena, an actual arena like this. Like, can I challenge someone to a duel and rank up that way? Like, I would love rank matches. You can just 
1v1 somebody and do that. That would be interesting, right? But sadly, we have to queue up. I guess after each one, a different one starts. If you're waiting for a certain one, that could be a problem for you because you gotta wait it off. I do plan on PvPing when I get a PvP character up to a great level. Right now, I was working on a PvE player, go well, character, but that PvE character is gonna get a wiped. Oh no! So everything I farmed is gonna be gone. So all this crap I collected was useless. No, but I couldn't make the gear, couldn't I? Yeah, well, I could make the gear. By the way, for those of you who do not know, your Halflon can actually use um, Dragosite too. So please keep in mind, they can use Dragosite and use weapons that to their class. Like always, they start out um, mercenary. So when you go to a mercenary tab, you can just build them a mercenary weapon. Like I'm gonna show you guys now with my little small legs walking. Okay, where is that crafter? There he is. Alright, let's craft something. A little bit. Okay. Scout right there. I mean, scout. <laughs> so, here's a sword. I'm not sure if they can use swords. I'm pretty sure they can because they're mercenaries, let's be honest. Uh, let's see. Let's pick the best damn sword I can find. Now let's pick this sword. We're gonna craft this. And we're gonna give it to our Hapalon. But first, I'm gonna put Dragon Sight, uh, Dragon Sight on it. Let's see, do I have any weapon ones? Yep, I do. I'm gonna put it on there. Now, I'm gonna open my Hapalon's um, interface by pushing P and then I'm gonna drag this over nope not the right class so I can't use swords because he's technically not a mercenary can only use battle axes so do you keep that in mind like I should have <laughs> that was a waste of gold one go down but yeah do keep that in mind it didn't say anything about it being a dragon sight and you can't use it but the thing I loved about this game is that you can take your dragon sight off without it being destroyed or anything you can just extract it and it still goes back to normal both of them nothing that is that is a plus for me I am happy about that I can use it on any new weapon I want but do keep in mind if you don't know what dragon sight does it does make you more powerful if you read the skills and everything and do keep in mind that right below its um, level requirement is the slot it can be used on so yeah this one is for weapons and weapons only so only weapons will be highlighted so I can just put that on anything thing and they just come with a design as well so as you can see I change it out and look, little particles around it. So that's actually pretty good and interesting. And look at those glowing symbols, that is badass. I like that. But why are they so so big? They weren't like that at first, but okay. Anywho. And the next thing I was gonna talk about was the the ranch. Uh this one kind of confused me. And I'm going to show you and tell you why it confused me a bit. Uh, when I first came in here, there was a few things that were here. I don't know if these are actually coming soon or it's not available to me yet open soon so I don't know if these are like expansions coming or they're still working on them 
hopefully they are still working on him and I don't have to work for him myself. Just, just being honest. <laughs> so this is your own private island, your own private ranch. Um, I don't know if Dragomon actually attack it, but you can create a defense. So I, I'm guessing you do. And look, this guy is over here. Nothing to report. He always says that. So he's a guard. I guess he does fight along with along with you if something is like attacking you see set up your defense you can set up your defense to uh, any dragon you have but I guess you have to you know have dragon to fight but at the moment I think you have to um, do the record thing but you guys will learn that as you play through there's cooking to give you different stats and well not not you stats mostly to help your Dragomon you have in your ranch and you can breed them if you want to as well good thing to breed um, why am I talking about breeding on this video uh, because it's needed duh hopefully they don't show it that would be awkward this is supposed to be a kids game not really a kids game but yeah all you Monster Hunter fans or like these games Play with a controller. It would all make sense to you. Just play with a controller and it will make sense. So I could open my bank in here as well. At first I did not know what the hell I could if I can open my bank or not if as I was in here. But now I see I can. Anywho, go to the ranch down here. Down here. You see this tab right there? Right there, the second tab. Yeah, you'll see a little lion right there. Click it. Then you're gonna go to records. You can do this anywhere too. Then you're gonna put in. You get push. Record. Then confirm. And now it confirmed that you get a reward for it. Recording reward. I don't know what, exactly what these do, but this is a. Uh, 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 this goes on to here. Oh, not here. The skills tab. You can equip these. Equip them all here. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a limit of how many you can have or something. Not sure. Yeah, equipped. So, yeah, I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to figure that out. Don't worry. Don't worry. But there was a thing where I got a new emotion from that. From that, um, that record as you can see dance eight <laughs> yeah I, I have no clue so you can earn more emotes so I guess this is why it's so large and empty so let's see what eight does I've been trying to get it since the motherfucking beginning. Been sitting in the basement working out a couple songs. Though a couple years ago, I never thought I'd do shit. But then I turned the volume up and heard me on the radio. Settle down. My first hit is what they told me. Then the first oh, okay. time I'm, I'm sitting lonely. Not even, not even gonna question it. Like you know, it's just so adorable. Don't don't hate me. Love me. Anywho. Ah, there's, there's more I want to talk about. But. If you guys want to hear me ramble on, just let me know. And you guys can get my feel of the game. And I feel. Just ask me down in the description. I'll give you guys a straightforward answer. I have no shame. I I will be 100% straightforward to you guys if I like the game or not. If I think something should be changed. If anything, just, just ask me and I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. If you guys want any tips I'll try and help you to the best of my abilities as well but until then I'm gonna have to let you guys go so I'll see you guys next time and make sure to check out my channel a little bit more because I'm gonna be uploading a lot of Dragomon because Dragomon is a fun game for me and I upload other videos too so don't don't worry it's not just just Dragomon. It's other videos where I try and be funny. I try. It doesn't work out. It fits with some people's humor, but yeah. Not with everybody's.
please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.